apparently somebody was calling me as an agent, sending me out for a job, but to find out whether I would be interested in going on a job, that's what I thought I was receiving. But at the same time, I had never, it was so different. When agents had called me about a job, they would say, uh, uh, my name is um, John Doe. I work for William Morris Agency. And we uh, have come across a role with, that we think you might be right for. We saw you in so and so and so. Would you be interested in any tell, who would tell me about the role? And they, if it's a smaller agent, they try and ingratiate themselves. We think so much of your work. You're the first person we thought of when, you know, that's the way they... This person was entirely different. I, it was almost like the Spanish Inquisition. Is this Ellen Holly? Uh, yes. Would you be interested in auditioning for a soap opera? Uh, um, I, I guess so. And then be at so and 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 so I went scrambling for paper and pencil and got on the floor. I said, would you mind repeating, repeating that, please? And so he repeated and he was going so fast I hardly ever got it down. And uh, I, uh, I click. He was off of the phone. I almost didn't get the last scribble in. I, he, he went so fast. I didn't know whether it was a joke. I thought somebody might be making... I, 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 I didn't understand the call. I just didn't understand it. I went to the thing. It turned out to be legitimate. It was a, some kind of part in the soap. And um, it sounded as if, uh, well, who knows? But uh, I still wasn't quite sure what had happened. But I came home. And I didn't expect to get it because I know that, like I said earlier, uh, they usually, when it's a black who's passing for white, they usually have a white girl. And I really don't, actually, I don't even see that as racism. I see it as money. For instance, with this, this uh, Susan, Susan uh, but in Imitation of Life, when she got the role, you know, millions more people were going to be looking at that thing because she was playing the role than uh, some uh, black actress they'd never heard of called Ellen Holly. So I don't consider that racism exactly. It's racism because of the way the system works. And your landlord doesn't give a damn why you lost the job. They always, uh, one way or the other, they don't mind. They just mind that you can't pay the rent, so you have to go and live with mommy and daddy until you get a better offer. So I didn't set that much store by it, and I thought, oh, well, so and so, well, a day or two at the most. The guy's back on the phone. I see you, you got the job, so and so and so and so, and I'll be mailing the con dropping the contract in the mail. Now there will be so many, uh, you sign all of those and return in the envelope that's going to be provided. And then he starts getting off the phone, and I went screaming into the phone. Wait a minute, wait a minute, to keep him from getting off the phone again. So I said to him, what are the terms? He said, a year at scale. Scale. I hadn't worked in scale in years. I said, I haven't worked in scale in years. I said, you go back to those scale, you go back to those people and you tell them to add $25 to that salary to pay for your commission, I'll be damned if your commission is gonna come out of my pocket. You've negotiated nothing. He said, I'll see what I can do. And hung up on me. I couldn't believe it. So anyway, uh, the thing came in the mail. The $25 had been added. So I said to myself, at least he's listening. And scale would have meant I would be making 300 hundred something a week. That was a hell of a lot more than the $86 I used to make at the New York Shakespeare Festival. So it was, an, in some ways, even though it was an insult professionally with my resume to be working for scale, it was also an upgrade from the kind of money I was making in the theater. So I thought, ah, oh, $300. I knew what the storyline was from the little piece of dialogue that I read. Mm -hmm. But once again, because it was a black who was in, in the 
the thing passing for white, I figured it was going to be cast with a white girl. Mm -hmm. And the irony was that indeed when the, the, the job first went out to agents, one of the reasons why on their end of the thing they were so frustrated was because all the agents sent white girls for the first go-round. This was the second go-round where apparently they were asking for the real thing, so everybody was scuffling to try and find... Uh, anyway, so I knew that little bit about it, but I didn't know all that much about it. Uh, what it was. So, and I remember the taxi ride. <laughs> For the very good reason uh, that the taxi driver, he, 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 I was in such a good mood, he, the taxi driver said, oh, why, why are you so happy? I said, I'm on my way to a job. I said, I so, I, and so he said, oh, well, who knows, one of these days you may even get to play Shakespeare. And I fell out laughing because <laughs> I played eight leads in Shakespeare, honey, for $86 a week. I'm about to make $300 a week.